Alongside Israel satisfy you? It, no, no, no. Alongside with the Jews can live in a Palestinian state. There should not be an Israeli state. Okay, thank you. Israeli state does not even exist. The only reason That's Israel is doing this is because they start, uh, they got kicked out from uh, the, uh, the German whatever, the, whatever happened to them. So they're trying to take out the anger to someone else. I, what, what about the Bible? The Bible? You know, I, Solomon. I'll answer that. The, the, the Jewish presence in in, uh, in Israel from the biblical days. He, I don't know. Do not think I have come to bring peace on earth. I've come not to bring peace. all the great apes. So the great apes are all cousins. Within the great apes, the African apes are closer cousins. Within the African apes, humans, bonobos and chimps are closer cousins still. And within them, bonobos and chimpanzees are the closest cousins. Tell page from here. But whoever blasphemes against the Holy Spirit will never be forgiven. He is guilty of an eternal sin. Through basic observation of the world around me and logical thinking, I've come to the conclusion that alongside the fact that there is no Santa Claus, there is no Easter Bunny, there also is no God. Hi, I'm Anthony, and I deny God, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit. Why are hundreds of teenagers making videos of themselves denying God, in some cases even defacing the Bible and posting it on the Internet? It's in response to a dare made by a group of atheists challenging... at school. I am an atheist. I don't believe in a Heavenly Father, and I wouldn't like to see that posted on a wall in my school. Alquist. Hi, I'm Rebecca Watson, skeptic.org, and I deny the existence of the Holy Spirit. Evolution means that something has become something <coughs> from something else, correct? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so my question is, if we're from apes, why are the apes still here? Modern astronomers concur with the ancient Mayans. On December 21st, 2012, the Earth will be in exact alignment with the Sun and the center of the Milky Way galaxy, a galactic event that takes place only once every 25,800 years. No one knows what effect this extraordinary alignment will have on the Earth, but the Mayans believed it would be dire. It might be kind of like a crossing over of the kind of galactic equator. And when you go below, you know, south and north, magnetic currents will spin in opposite directions. It might be there's a kind of field effect reversal that takes place once you pass through this galactic equator. Geophysicists have a theory that is strikingly similar to the events predicted by the Mayan alignment. This phenomenon is called pole shift in which the entire mantle of the Earth would shift in a matter of days, perhaps hours, changing the position of the North and South Pole. Just when you thought there could not be more change going on in the world, magnetic north is moving. Aviators know it has always moved, but not like this. It's just skipping along. Human activity apparently has wiped out 1.4 percent of all plant and animal species and it is a hundred to a thousand times faster than normal because of human population, uh, development, pollution, over harvesting. And if you take a look at a zoo, uh, many of the zoo animals that our children love, mm -hmm. we may find them going extinct. Back now to our top story, a terrible mystery gripping the world right now. Birds, fish, and all kinds of creatures just dropping dead in huge numbers for what seems like no reason. Just in the last two weeks, the theories and speculation running rampant. Hundreds of dead seals in Labrador. These seals washed up around Hopedale. There are similar reports from other communities. No one knows why these animals died. shift took place slowly over years. It would result in global climate change and shifting sea levels. 
if it took place rapidly, it would mean planet-wide disaster and mass extinction of species. Back now with the puzzling story of a massive kill of wildlife in the state of Arkansas. Birds falling out of the sky, the result of some sort of trauma, and fish found dead in the water. Thousands of them in separate instances. Just to give you an idea of how much water we're talking about here, a commander with the Corps of Engineers said the water that's rushing through the Mississippi right now would fill a football field 44 feet deep in a second. And as a result of all of this, said on Thursday that the number one reactor at the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant is believed to be in a state of meltdown. I'm sorry, your cell phone's cutting out. We're going north 125. Mm-hmm. And our accelerator's stuck. I'm sorry? Our accelerator's stuck. We're on 125 and we're in Okay, northbound 125, where are you passing? We are passing, uh, where are we passing? We're, we're, we're going 120, Mission Gorge. We're in, we're in trouble. We can't, well, there's no brakes. Okay. In freeway half mile. Okay, and you don't have the ability to like turn the vehicle off or anything. We're approaching the intersection. We're approaching the intersection. Okay. We're approaching the intersection. Hold on. Pray. Pray. Okay. Oh shoot! Oh. 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 Okay. Hello. Uh, this is the chaplain uh, 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 from the uh, First Battalion, Six Marines. As the guys line up for their steak dinners, they had bitter fighting just a few hundred meters from here. Are, you know, they used to say in previous wars, there are no such thing as an atheist in a foxhole. Is that true? Yes, it is true. Very true. So tell me how the young Marines, what they say to you, especially on a day like today. Uh, they're just thankful to be here, thankful to be alive, you know, thankful that um, they've been protected through all of this, and they've been through a lot, and um, they're just happy to still be here, ready to go home and see their families. And you have a service in one of the tents at uh, 2000? Yes, sir. All right, Chaplain. Thank you, and happy Easter to thank you. Thank you. Thank you.